February 20, 2022 is a Sunday. Welcome to your daily weather for Washington. Dress for cold. The temperature today should reach up to 44 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 25%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Some clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be cold with clear sky. Tuesday is going to be cold with moderate rain. Wednesday is going to be cold with light rain. Thursday is going to be cold with snow. Friday is going to be cold with rain and snow. Saturday is going to be cold with overcast clouds. No weather alerts at the moment. And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. For our next story, high-ranking D.C. officer suspected of improperly communicating with Proud Boys leader, report says. A high-ranking Washington, D.C. police officer was suspected of communicating improperly with a Proud Boys leader, and SUSP. Ended pending an investigation, the Washington Post reported. In other District of Columbia news, Santander settles Massachusetts subprime auto loan case for $5.56 million Reuters. Boston Reuters subprime auto lender Santander Consumer USA Inc. has agreed to pay $5. Next up, coastal gas link attack, surveillance images released CTV News CTV News Vancouver. Coastal Gas Link has released surveillance images of several people near its under-construction natural gas pipeline in NO. RTHERNBC In our next story, Market Extra, President's Day or Washington's Birthday? Is the stock market open? Here are trading hours. U.S. financial markets will be closed on Monday in observance of President's Day, or Washington's Birthday, if you prefer. The Intercontinental Exchange Inc., ICE, 1. In our next story, leaders with Florida-based Cuban legal group back Katanji Brown Jackson's nomination to high court. Jackson, a federal appeals court judge for the District of Columbia, has emerged as a leading contender to replace Retier. In Justice Stephen Breyer, Biden is also considering federal district judge J. A. In other District of Columbia news. Katanji Brown Jackson, a dataset of over 500 opinions. President Biden has a major decision to make with whom to nominate to fill Justice Breyer's seat on the Supreme Court. In our next story, COVID-19 update, Alberta reports 14 more deaths. Kenny calls on Canada and U.S. to drop trucker vaccine mandates. Health Minister says Alberta on track to zero restrictions. Calgary Herald. Watch this page throughout the day for updates on COVID-19 in Calgary. A person is seen wearing a mask walking downtown O. N. Wednesday, February 16, 2022. That's it District of Columbia. Have a good one. We're always working to improve our service. Please subscribe to show support. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather, TM, API, which is made available here under the Open Database License, ODBL.